हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 18th of may The session will be really important so do pay attention till the end as you will be gaining multiple information from this lecture. Let's start. The first question is which ministry launched Sanchar Sathi portal to prevent frauds? This frauds can be or related to mobile phones. Correct? Through phones, through any online email. Correct? So in order to provide or in order to protect various people from these frauds this sanchar sathi portal was launched what is the name of the ministry that launched this portal side by side the question can also be asked what is the name of the person who launched this portal so if name of the person is as ashwini vaishnav if the name of ministry is as it is your ministry of communication have launched this sanchar sathi portal to prevent frauds by misusing mobile phones using this portal a total of 40.87 lakh suspected connections were detected and out of this 40.8 lakh suspected connections 36.61 lakh have been disconnected after verification and the rest are still being processed correct so this is your sanchar sathi portal launched by ministry of communication the name of, if name of person is asked then ashwini vaishnav launched this portal correct here you can see this is the site link where you can go and visit also just by copying and pasting it you will be able to visit this sanchar sathi portal moving on india along with which country launched 50 startups exchange program we know that india is progressively growing in terms of startups right and india became the third largest startup in the world all right it became the startup company or uh, num maximum number of startups in the world it is on the third position now india along with which country they have launched 50 startups exchange program it will be your india and bangladesh right india along bangladesh they have launched a 50 startups exchange program and under which 50 startups from bangladesh and 50 startups from india were planned to exchange visits to each other countries for exploring partnership expanding business relationship sharing experience knowledge and expanding youth and entrepreneurial cooperation under this program the first group of 10 startup companies belong to sectors such as e-commerce health 
ट्रांसपोर्ट लॉजिस्टिक्स एनर्जी एजुकेशन एंड स्किल डेवलपमेंट फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश हैव ऑल्सो मेड अ फाइव डे विजिट टू इंडिया फ्रॉम एट टू ट्वेल्थ ऑफ मई करेक्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इट सो वी आर सींग दैट फिफ्टी स्टार्टअप फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड फिफ्टी स्टार्टअप फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश दे विल बी विजिटिंग ईच अदर्स कंट्री दे विल बी शेयरिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन विद ईच अदर एंड विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट हाउ दे कैन एक्सपेंड इन ईच अदर कंट्री द स्टार्टअप ऑफ बांग्लादेश वर इंट्रोड्यूस टू इंडिया स्टार्टअप इंडिया इनिशिएटिव ऑल्सो दे पार्टिसिपेटेड इन वेरियस इंटरेक्टिव सेशन फोकस्ड ऑन एस्टेब्लिशिंग अ स्टार्टअप एंड बिजनेस मॉडल सर्टेन प्रोसेस देन इट हैज अ पोटेंशियल ऑफ ऑग्यूमेंटिंग कॉपरेशन इन न्यू एंड अमर्जिंग एरियाज कटिंग एज टेक्नोलॉजी एंटरप्रनोरशिप एंड इनोवेशन सो कमिंग बैक रिमेंबर इट इज इंडिया अलॉन्ग विद बांग्लादेश दे हैव लॉन्च दिस प्रोग्राम दे वेयर दे विल बी एक्सचेंजिंग फिफ्टी स्टार्टअप फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड फिफ्टी स्टार्टअप फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश वेयर दे विल बी विजिटिंग ईच अदर कंट्रीज एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग देयर करेक्ट सो हे यू कैन सी इंडिया एंड बांग्लादेश लॉन्च दिस फिफ्टी स्टार्टअप एक्सचेंज program next which ministry launched c pace to simplify removal of company names from registers so this c pace what does the c pace stands for center for processing accelerated corporate exit i repeat center for processing accelerated corporate exit this was to centralize the process of striking of companies from the mca register mca is your Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So it was your Ministry of Corporate Affairs only who launched this C Pace to simplify the removal of various company names from register. Correct. The C Pace office will work under the suspension on administration of DGCA, that is your Directorate General of Corporate Affairs in New Delhi. The main objective of this C Pace is to establish the centralized institution. to facilitate ease of doing business and simplify the exit process for companies this also aims to provide a hassle free timely and process bound experience for various companies seeking to strike off their names from mca registers what are the benefits of it the centralized process of striking of company helps maintain a clean registry it provides hassle free filing and process bound striking off for stakeholders this ensures timely and efficient disposable of applications better availability of meaningful data to stakeholders right so here you can see it is your ministry of corporate affairs that established this center for processing accelerated corporate exit <coughs> moving on next is which city became the first indian city to major un sustainable development goal process i repeat to not major it is to major i repeat which city became the first indian city to major un sustainable development goal processes that is your sdg processes it is your bhopal bhopal city capital or bhopal city the capital of madhya pradesh became the first indian city joining the growing global movement on localization of sustainable development goals that are mandated by un correct bhopal will now have voluntary local reviews to demonstrate the local government's capacity and commitment towards achieving the 2030 agenda for sustainable development the sustainable development goals localization is translating the agenda 2030 into local action and impacts as a part of sustainable development goal localization process correct so mark it then indore it is the cleanest city right moving on here you can see bhopal it became the first indian city to major un sustainable development goal process next is indira gandhi national center for arts celebrated rabindra jayanti at vigyan uh, uh, also vigyan web of portal was launched i repeat indira gandhi national center for arts in collaboration with shri guru gobind singh tri century university and sanrachana foundation they held the rabindra jayanti celebrations at new delhi and then they were at the samvat auditorium 
ड्यूरिंग द सेलिब्रेशन मीनाक्षी लेखी द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर कल्चर एंड इंडिया ऑल्सो लॉन्च द विज्ञान पोर्टल दैट इज डेवलप्ड बाय दिस आई जी एन सी ए वेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर रविंद्र जयंती सेलिब्रेशन वॉज हेल्ड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस विज्ञान वेब ऑफ पोर्टल दिस इज डेडिकेटेड टू सेवेंटी फाइव एमिनेंट इंडियन साइंटिस्ट हु हैव डन ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी The portal identifies the contribution of women and men in equal numbers in the field of science, and it is a collective effort. And its launch can be seen as an extension of Kala Web, which was recently launched at IGNCA. This was your Vigyan portal. If we talk about this Rabindra Jayanti, Rabindra Jayanti is celebrated across India on twenty fifth day of the Bengali month of Boshak. to commemorate the birth anniversary of Rabindranath Tagore Rabindranath Tagore was the first non european to receive the nobel prize in literature in 1913 correct and he received this for his collection poetry collection that was gitanjali correct this was originally written in bengali but later on gitanjali was translated from bengali to english moving on next is tamil nadu's chief minister mk stalin has inaugurated 570 meter skywalk bridge at t nagar where is this t nagar this is in chennai tamil nadu this 570 meter skywalk bridge where is it it is in chennai tamil nadu it was inaugurated by whom it was inaugurated by mk stalin correct the inaugurated sidewalk sky bridge is the longest skywalk in tamil nadu and it is considered one of the longest skywalks in india this was constructed with a cost of around 28.45 crore rupees and as many as 20000 pedestrians are expected to use the skywalk daily moving on what is the target year of unep to reduce the world's plastic pollution unep united nation environment program where is the headquarter it is in nairobi kenya and recently unep they launched a report the name of the report was <coughs> turning of the tap how the world can end plastic pollution and create a circular economy and under this report they stated that global plastic pollution can be reduced by up to 80% by the year 2040 this is the target year that was set by un ep as you can see that the global plastic pollution can be reduced by up to 80% by 2040 if the companies and countries make policies and make shift using the existing technologies correct apart from this remember the treaty negotiation is known as inc2 that will take place from 29th of may to 2nd of june and the treaty would address the whole life of plastics from production to disposable the report focuses on three main market shifts that are required to create a circular economy to reduce the plastic pollution and this will include accelerated reuse accelerated recycling and diversify the market for sustainable and safe plastic alternatives the report also highlights that recycling could achieve an additional 20% by 2040 if the process of recycling becomes a more stable and profitable venture and fossil fuel subsidies are removed correct apart from this an investment of around 65 billion dollar a year is required for this overall shift so it is the 2040 and almost 80% of the world's plastic pollution can be reduced as per un ep next <clears throat> next is banking and finance idbi bank of baroda and sbi capital has appointed to manage irda ipo i repeat the union government has appointed three merchant bankers idbi capital market and securities limited bank of baroda capital markets limited and sbi capital markets limited to manage the ipo that is your initial public offer of the irda idbi capital is the lead banker for the transaction correct separately saraf and partner was appointed as the legal advisor for the ipo this ipo which is expected in the fiscal year 24 likely comprises 
are 10% stake sale by the government and 15% fresh equity issuance by the renewable energy project financer to fund their business growth correct and remember irda this is a mini ratna category 1 government of india enterprise next HDFC AMC asset AMC stands for asset management company so HDFC asset management company launched the india's first mutual fund focused on defense sector i repeat recently HDFC asset management company uh, that is an investment manager to HDFC mutual fund announced the launch of the HDFC defense fund that is the india's first mutual fund that plans to invest in the defense sector it follows a bottom up approach to portfolio construction within the defense ecosystem and the main objective here is to provide long term capital appreciation by investing predominantly in equity and equity related securities of defense and allied sector companies at least 80% of the net assets of the defense fund will be invested in defense and allied sector companies and here the defense and allied sector stocks include stocks forming part of aerospace defense explosive ship building and allied sectors right if we talk about hdfc amc who is the managing director and chief executive officer here navneet munoth headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra <clears throat> moving on next next is zomato zomato upi what is this zomato upi recently zomato has partnered up with icic bank to launch their own upi offering i repeat zomato this is a online food sharing platform correct they have partnered with or they collaborated with icic bank to introduce their own upi service called zomato upi for select users the feature allow customers to make direct payments within the zomato app by creating their own upi id eliminating the need for redirection to external payment gateways like phone pay google pay or other third party applications correct zomato upi will further expand on the india's uh, on the initial customer responses and this will allow zomato to exercise better control over the payments taking place on their platform this development is a part of a broader attempt by npci that is the governing body of upi to bring large consumer internet companies to network to reduce dependency on walmart own phone pay and google pay correct if we talk about zomato who is the founder and ceo here dipinder goel headquarter is in gurugram haryana and it was established in 2010 next next is economy and business United Nation projected India's GDP growth at 5.8% in 2023 and 6.7% in 2024. I repeat, World Economic Situation and Prospectus as of May 2023 was released by UN on 16th of May and it stated that Indian economy that is the largest in the South Asian region is expected to grow by 5.8% in 2023. and 6.7% in 2024 correct directly you need to remember this if we talk about global economy that is if we talk about global growth the report projected that the global economy will be growing by 2.3% in 2023 and it will be expected that it will grow by 2.5% next year that is by 2024 correct then if we talk about un who released this report it uh, headquarter is in new york usa it was established in 1945 and secretary general here is antonio gutters moving on next appointment and resignations slovakia president appoints central banker ludovic odor as the interim prime minister of slovakia i repeat zuzana Kaputova president of Slovakia appointed Judovit Odor a Slovak economist and a former deputy governor of National Bank of Slovakia as the interim prime minister of Slovakia right directly remember this 
नेक्स्ट रहेजा क्यू बी ई जनरल इंश्योरेंस अपॉइंटेड राजीव डोगरा एज द न्यू मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर आई रिपीट मुंबई महाराष्ट्र बेस्ड रहेजा क्यू बी ई जनरल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड दे हैव अपॉइंटेड राजीव डोगरा एज देयर न्यू मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर फॉलोइंग द अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द आई आर डी ए आई ही विल सक्सीड पंकज अरोरा डायरेक्टली रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट हु विल बी रिप्ले राजीव डोगरा विल बी रिप्लेसिंग एज द न्यू एम डी एंड सीई ओ ही विल बी रिप्लेसिंग होम पंकज अरोरा नेक्स्ट इज पेटीएम पेटीएम हैज अपॉइंटेड भावेश गुप्ता एज द प्रेजिडेंट एंड चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर आई रिपीट नोएडा उत्तर प्रदेश बेस्ड वन नाइनटी सेवन कॉम्युनिकेशन लिमिटेड विच ओन्स पेटीएम दे हैव अपॉइंटेड भावेश गुप्ता एज द प्रेजिडेंट एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ पेटीएम भावेश गुप्ता विद ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज विल बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लीडिंग द वर्टिकल्स ऑफ लैंडिंग इंश्योरेंस पेमेंट्स एंड कंज्यूमर पेमेंट्स एंड ड्राइविंग की इनिशिएटिव इंक्लूडिंग यूजर ग्रोथ ऑपरेशन रिस्क फ्रॉड रिस्क एंड कंपायलेंस ही विल बी रिपोर्टिंग टू विजय शेखर शर्मा हु इज द एम डी एंड सी ई ओ ऑफ पेटीएम ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज पेटीएम सी ई ओ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी so this is related to paytm now let's move to environment news gecko mizorona nemesis i repeat gecko mizorora mizora menesis all right researchers from mizoram and germany they discovered a new flying gecko species in mizoram this was in news recently and multiple social media platforms also captured this news and stating that a flying gecko a new species of the flying gecko has been discovered in mizoram all right remember where this was discovered in mizoram and, and that is the reason this was named on the behalf of mizoram state only gecko mizoram menesis correct next next is obutri australian tennis player owen davidson winner of the 13 grand slam double titles has recently passed away as you can see in the picture he is the australian double star davidson correct owen davidson he won 13 grand slam double titles and he passed away at the age of 79 in texas usa he was born on 4th of october in 1943 in melbourne victoria australia correct and he recently passed away next next is former arunachal pradesh minister chao teva main dies at the age of 80 i repeat former arunachal pradesh minister chao teva me who was 80 years of age has recently passed away correct and he was from the chongkham village of arunachal pradesh he was elected as the member of pradesh council in 1972 and he served as the mla from chongkham constituency in 1995 2004 2009 2014 also correct next when do we observe world telecommunication and information society day so on 17th of may remember every year we observe this world telecommunication and information society day this is annually observed across the globe to create awareness about the use of internet and other information and communication technologies in societies and economies the day also aims to raise awareness about the ways to bridge the digital divide and you can remember here the theme that is empowering the least developed countries through information and communication technologies i repeat what is the theme empowering the least developed countries through information and communication technologies world Com telecommunication day has been celebrated annually on 17th of may since 1969 correct next next is when do we observe world hypertension day this day is also observed on 17th of may correct world hypertension day observed on 17th of may and it is to basically raise awareness about hypertension commonly known as high blood pressure and to promote its prevention and detection and control then you can remember the theme here that is measure your blood pressure accurately control it and live longer 
करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज एंड वेन इट वॉज दिस फर्स्ट टाइम ऑब्जर्व इट वॉज सिंस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दिस वर्ल्ड हाइपर टेंशन डे ऑन सेवनटीन ऑफ मे नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनेशनल डे अगेंस्ट होमोफोबिया ट्रांसफोबिया एंड बायोफोबिया दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन सेवनटीन ऑफ मे एंड इट इज एनुअली ऑब्जर्व बेसिकली टू रेज अवेयरनेस अबाउट लेस्बियन गे बायसेक्शुअल ट्रांसजेंडर क्वीर इंटरसेक्स एल जी बी टी क्यू प्लस इशूज एंड दिस डे इज एनुअली ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्टीन ऑफ मे एंड द थीम हेयर दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर इज टूगेदर ऑलवेज यूनाइटेड इन डाइवर्सिटी आई रिपीट टूगेदर ऑलवेज डाइवर्स यूनाइटेड इन डाइवर्सिटी इज द थीम फॉर दिस इंटरनेशनल डे अगेंस्ट होमोफोबिया ट्रांसफोबिया एंड बायोफोबिया राइट मूविंग ऑन टू सम स्टेट न्यूज मुख्यमंत्री कृषक ब्याज माफी योजना इट वॉज फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस स्कीम इज बेसिकली एन इंटरेस्ट वेवर स्कीम फॉर द फार्मर्स दैट वॉज लॉन्च इन द मध्य प्रदेश सो रिसेंटली वी कैन से शिवराज सिंह चौहान द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश दे लॉन्च अ लोन इंटरेस्ट वेवर स्कीम दैट वॉज नेम्ड मुख्यमंत्री कृषक ब्याज माफी योजना ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री This was a scheme that was launched by Chief Minister Farmer Loan Waiver Scheme that was to compensate the defaulter farmers who have an outstanding loan of up to two lakh rupees, including the principal and interest, as on March thirty first, twenty twenty three. Under this outstanding amount of two thousand one hundred and twenty three crore, it will be waived off for eleven lakh nineteen thousand farmers and will also be certified as default. free the initiative will make the farmers eligible for the crop loan scheme at 0% interest rate correct so this mukhya mantri krishak byaj maafi yojana was launched by which state it was launched by madhya pradesh so these were your important current affairs for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision am ministry of communication Minister Ashwin Vaishnav they launched a Sanchar Sathi portal to prevent frauds by misusing mobile phones. India and Bangladesh launched 50 startups exchange program. Ministry of Corporate Affairs launched C-PAYS to simplify removal of company names from register. Bhopal became the first Indian city to measure UN Sustainable Development Goal process. Indira Gandhi National Center for Art celebrates Rabindra Jayanti. Vigyan Vaibhav portal was also launched. Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister M K Stalin inaugurated 570 meter skywalk bridge at T Nagar that is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. UNEP report was released and it measured to reduce 80 percent of the world's plastic pollution by 2040. IDBI Bank of Baroda and SBI Capital appointed to manage IRDEA IPO. HDFC AMC launched India's first mutual fund focused on defense sector. Zomato UPI was uh, Zomato UPI where Zomato has signed a pact with ICICI Bank to launch their own UPI. Next, UN projected India's GDP growth rate at 5.8% in 2023 and 6.7% in 2024. Slovakia president appoints central banker Ludovic Odor as the interim prime minister. Raheja QBE General Insurance appointed Rajiv Dogra as the MD and CEO. PTM appointed Bhavesh Gupta as the president and CEO of PTM. Gecko Mizora menaces was the name of the new flying eco species that was found in Mizoram. Australian tennis player Owen Davidson, the winner of the 13 Grand Slam double titles, passed away. Former Arunachal Pradesh minister Chao Teva Main dies at the age of 80. World Telecommunication and Information Society Day observed on 17th of May. World Hypertension Day on 17th of May. International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biophobia observed on 17th of May. Mukhya Mantri Krishak Byaj Maafi Yojana that is an interest waiver scheme for former for farmers was launched in Madhya Pradesh. So these were your important current affairs for the day friends. Now it's time for your revision. National Dengue Day is observed on 16th of May. A workshop was done on the bamboo sector development. On the bamboo sector development, can you tell me where was this workshop held? It was held in New Delhi and it was inaugurated by Narendra Tomar ji. Next, 
Yaosheng Festival. We have discussed this festival multiple times. Yaosheng Festival. This is observed where this festival is observed in Manipur. Then recently, which organization hosted the third edition of the international third edition of the international conference on election integrity? on election integrity so the third international conference on election integrity was hosted by eci that is your election commission of india right then tell me if i ask you which state government recently launched a plantation drive a plantation drive was conducted on international women's day in which state or which state organized this plantation drive on international women's day that is on 8th of that was on 8th of march so it will be your jharkhand state right then tell me which force installed the tallest iconic national flag so the tallest flag of india it was recently installed or hosted by which force it is your indian army next thing remember the location of this tallest iconic national flag is in the doda district now where is this doda district it is in jammu and kashmir next next is which center or which state government has allowed for poppy cultivation poppy cultivation it is your west bengal urged center to allow the poppy cultivation in their state arogya mahila arogya mahila this arogya mahila was launched in which state it was launched in telangana arogya mahila then there was a new sports policy launched sports policy was launched in which state in that state there is sports city in that state there is a film city and the correct option here is up here jevar airport is also being built all right recently in up global investor summit was held in lucknow all right in up only it is said that they will achieve 1 trillion dollar soon and apart from this in up only it was stated that the high rise buildings should cover themselves with beautiful lights so that uh, at night they can uh, look beautiful or they can we can say that they match the standard of the global cities so this is everything you need to know regarding up apart from this remember a new initiative was called beggar free city which was the beggar free city and it is a new initiative it was launched in nagpur maharashtra beggar free city bharat nepal astha yatra tour it was launched by whom bharat nepal astha yatra tour this was launched by irctc correct next next remember g20 flower festival g20 flower festival this was a two day long festival where was this held it was held in new delhi two day long flower festival was held in new delhi acc that is your appointments committee of the cabinet appointed anil kumar jain as the new petroleum and natural gas regulatory board as the chairman of this petroleum and natural gas regulatory board next is acc approved the appointment of ravneet kaur as the chairperson of cci as you can see here and she will be appointed in this position for 5 years and she will be the first female to be appointed as the chairperson of cci next kerala became the first indian state to launch a welfare fund for the workers under manrega important current affair international day of families is observed on 15th of may next is telangana's vupala pranith became the india's 82nd grandmaster he is 16 years of age and he is from telangana next so next is your friends homework first UG Yugin Bharat National Museum is set to be up in which state next which institution successfully conducted the trial run of blood bag delivery under i drone initiative third 
which city hosted the national conference on land governance in northeastern states so these are your three homework questions friends i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do now is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same if you want us to continue with such sessions in the long run and if you want me to make current affairs section uh, sessions or to take these lecture on daily basis then you need to motivate me by liking and commenting on this video right so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue